Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, here we go. And again, thank you so much for listening. And stick around for our videos and stuff like that. As long as late as you can before you fall asleep. Um. Okay. This is a song that I wrote. I'm not convinced it's any good. A lot of you probably aren't going to relate to this. It's, it's better if you don't anyway, so. <laughs> it's just a list of examples. Example one, this is a thrift store. This is not your house. You don't work here. You don't know me. You don't need to ask the questions. I am just trying to buy a t-shirt. And this was in Fishtown too, just so you know. But still you ask. What the hell are you? Are you a girl or a boy? Well, really, my friend, right now, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Example three. This is a street corner in Dayton, Ohio. Just one more deserted place in the sprawling downtown. You are in your car. I am walking, exhausted, and starving. Why would you need to stop just to ask your friends on oh, what the fuck is that? Is that a girl or a boy? With your windows rolled down, I guess you just don't think that I have ears. Because what do you want me to say? What's the best kind of answer? I don't know you, and I'm not trying to confuse you. Alright. Example 3 through 6, this is a supermarket in South Philadelphia. This is a store that I worked at by a 10 year old girl and she was really rude about it too. These are the folks putting on the show. They're just trying to be nice. Because they don't want to assume, but they didn't ask anyone else. Um, what the fuck are you? I mean, what do you identify as? Is there nowhere that I can go without my gender?